Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, where are you going? Eh? Yeah. Still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh. Wait. Wait, what day is today? Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Geez, good thing I stopped you. Give me you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? What do you mean by weird? Hmm. Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay. Come over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I, I mean... I just figured that since I'm the one helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? It's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Oh. Huh. Okay, maybe that's why... Maybe that's why uh, her personality is like this. A sun deer. Can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. Not like I could act like that in front of everyone. That was that I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so. Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah. Never mind. I can't believe this! Natsuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori. My anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I have gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Um, well, I mean... You did ask that weird question about Yuri. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it now, have a good time. Oh, I hope. It's ready Sunday. Ready? I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. The most a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute language. Doesn't really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sari since she left club early the other day. Uh oh. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sari said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sari's feelings aside when she might need me? Huh. Decides to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I simply tell her, I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her to not run down and greet me. Head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Cap Gooey. Oh. Look, okay. You don't... Hey, oh, look at that cow. I sit down in her room. Sari forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, uh, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Harry's room is as messy as it's always been. 
I always recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Hee hee hee. Aww. So kawaii. If she came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning up for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... How'd you know? Wait, how did you know that? Terry had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the, in the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. What about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Terry stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just... Wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... Terry smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Cap Gooey. Eh. Why can't it just be like it's always been? It's all my fault. But I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. But I didn't make that stupid mistake. You wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? Punishment? Alright, something's up now. Being punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decides to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Hee hee hee. Sayori. I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There is no explanation for you to be like this. So tell me, already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah, ah ha ha. There he gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Cap Gooey. But, you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. Just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are, what are you talking about, Sayori? Hee hee hee. Okay, well, I mean, it was kind of obvious that she liked me from the start, like, from the, a long time ago. Except she hasn't shown that side of her to me, so, okay. You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Kevgui? I guess I have no choice this time. Thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Whoa, okay, that was not where I was at. That was not where I thought it was gonna go. Okay. That, ooh, that is, whoa. Okay, so from what we learned is that she's always cheery and happy and all that stuff. And like, and like actually, you know, hiding the fact that she has the bad depression and that she... Okay, she is really good at putting a mask on and hiding that fact. Like, seriously. Oh my gosh. I mean... I mean it's, it's hard for me to hide that fact. Like, like or it was super hard to hide that fact. But then, you know, I realized it's not something I should hide behind, you know? At all. Man, this this must be really tough for her then. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. The reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's... Oh. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Well, I mean, it's kind of easy just to hide, you know, hide behind a mask. Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It always feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. 
I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Kevgui. Why do you think I didn't tell you? If I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. That is not true. Why? What do you mean waste effort? No wasting effort. You are you are important. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat a bat being swung against my head. Ha ah, ha ha. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy to have the best thing for me. And then I did discover something else too. You make friends and get, get closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spear going through my heart. That's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ha ha ha. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting... That's what I'll do. No, Kevgui. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Here's streak down Sayori's face. I made you join the Ledger Club because I was so I was so selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to set these punishments. What? No! Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Yeah! Sayori! Ah, uh ah! -huh. Have you, we? Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Have you, we? Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Have you, we? Hi. Sayori barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Kevgui. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Sorry lets me go. And as she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh... Um, uh, what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. All days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. My surprise, Sayuri shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. Ah. Uh, I say goodbye to Sayuri and exit her house. Okay, so that's... Okay. So that's what's been going on. Okay, this is... Uh... Ooh. Whoa. I... Wow. Just wow. 
Oh, oh man, I, I'm actually excited to find out what is going to happen in the rest of the story and also kind of scared at the same time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!